Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting Ramanujan equation, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is if x is equal to three plus one over three plus one over x, and y is equal to three plus one over three plus one over three plus one over y. Both x and y are the real numbers. What's the absolute value of x minus y? So let's work on the x part first, right? So x is equal to, 3 plus now 1 over 3 plus 1 over x. For this fraction, we can combine these two terms in your denominator, right? So this is the same as 3 plus 1 over now 3x plus 1 over x. Okay, so that is the same as then 3 plus now this x over 3x plus 1. Okay, so still we have two terms. So let's combine these two terms into a fraction with the denominator of 3x plus 1. So that's why this 3 will become now 9x plus 3 over 3x plus 1. And then you're adding just x over 3x plus 1. Okay, if you add up your numerator part, then that is now 10x plus 3. And then your denominator is still 3x plus 1, and that is now equal to just the x. And if you multiply 3x plus 1 to both sides, then we have now then 3x squared plus x. This has to be equal to 10x plus 3. To make your quadratic equation as 3x squared minus 9x minus 3 is equal to zero. So that's why if you divide those terms by three, then you will end up with x squared and minus three x minus one is equal to zero. Okay, so let's keep this for now, right? Okay, if you work on the y part the same way, right? Y was equal to three plus 1 over 3 plus, now 1 over 3 plus 1 over y. Okay, let's do the same, right? So this has to be the same as 3 plus now, 1 over 3 plus, this is the same as now, then 1 over, okay, 3y plus 1 over y. Okay, so that's why it is now then 3 plus 1 over, okay, 3 plus reciprocal, y over 3y plus 1, so that we can combine those two terms in your denominator. So this is now then 3 plus 1 over, okay, then 3, so 9y, 9y plus 3, over 3y plus 1, and then plus simply y over 3y plus 1. Okay, so if you add them up, that this is the same as then 3, plus 1 over, okay, then 10y plus 3. That divided by 3y plus 1. So that we can represent that as now then 3 plus also reciprocal 3y plus 1 over 10y plus 3. Okay, so let's combine these two. So now 3 has to be the same as then 30 y plus 9 over 10y plus 3. And then you're adding 3y plus 1 over 10y plus 3. So if you add your numerator part, so we have 33y plus now 10, that over 10y plus 3. Now that is equal to just a y, right? Okay, so that's why now if you look at this equation, and then multiply 10y plus 3 to both sides, right? Then we will have 10y squared plus 3y. That is equal to 33y plus 10. So let's move those two terms on the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Then we should have 10y squared minus 30y minus 10 is equal to 0. If you divide all those terms by 10, then we should have y squared minus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0.
Okay, if you look at your x and y part, x squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And also y squared minus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. So both x and y are in the form of, say, k squared minus 3k minus 1 is equal to 0. Since we cannot really factor this out using only the integers, we can use maybe this quadratic formula. So your k has to be just equal to k. Negative b, so 3 plus minus square root of. Now the inside of your square root has to be 13. That over 2 times 1, that is just a 2. Okay, making sure we are getting the absolute value of x minus y. So case number 1, if both x and y are 3 plus square root of 13 over 2, or both x and y are 3 minus square root of 13 over 2, the same value, then absolute value of x minus y is equal to 0 in that case. But then again, x and y might have this alternating sign of plus minus, right? So for example, if x is 3 plus square root of 13 over 2, and then if y is 3 minus square root of 13 over 2, if you subtract this, then it has to be now just square root of 13, right? Or if x is 3 minus square root of 13, and then y is now 3 plus square root of 13. In this case, it is going to be negative square root of 13. We're getting the absolute value of it, right? So that's why the second absolute value of x minus y has to be simply just the square root of 13. So the answer is 0 or square root of 13. Okay, it's a pretty interesting Ramanujan equation. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.